Okay. Um, we are going to start with our press conferences today with the UND head coach, Chris Kievers, senior defensive back, Landry Mavungu, and senior offensive lineman, Kednell Alexis. Coach, we'll just start with an opening statement from you, please. Yeah, I thought we uh, came out and had some energy and, and uh, had a good start and, and uh, uh, were physical and, and made some plays and and uh, just kind of ran out of gas in the second half. Uh, you know, made some mistakes, uh, mistakes that you can't come back from. And very disappointed. Uh, thought we would come back here and play better. And I, you know, I think we did play better, but it wasn't good enough. Yeah, coach, starting out the game, uh, being in an environment like this on the road, how big was that goal line stop to open up the game? You know, it, it was a great momentum uh, swing and, uh, uh, you know, and then, you know, we stop them and then we get the safety and you kind of, you know, it's, it's, we couldn't get, we just couldn't put things together. We didn't play very good team football where we, you know, stop them and then you get a drive. It just, we just kept going and, uh, uh, you know, making too many mistakes. And, but the momentum early with that stop, you know, we've been doing that all year. We've got, you know, you look at our red zone defense, we're, we're one of the tops. They, they, our kids respond. Was it kind of an emphasis for your team coming into this game? knowing that Pitt State had struggled in the first half of games this season. And if you guys were able to keep it close in the first half, you guys would have a shot in the second half. You know, we didn't – that really wasn't – you know, we, we kind of wanted to uh, – we didn't like all the talk about, you know, being out physical and and, how, and we kind of wanted to make sure that we established the physicality of the game. And we really didn't talk about first half, second half. We just uh, – we wanted to come out and we wanted to come out, uh, start fast and, and, and thought – that we had, you know, that we matched up pretty well with them and that we had a chance. And, uh, uh, we, you know, first half we did, and the second half we didn't get it done. How much of a momentum changer was the safety, even though it was so early in the game? You know, it, was, it wasn't that. We, our kids still responded. It didn't, you know, it didn't, it didn't, but it would have been nice to, to you know, get, you're on the road, you, you know, it's a nice place to play, and, you know, it's, it, you know the crowd is in your face, and, and, you know, you just need to have some things go your way early, and, and a little bit did, but not enough. Any questions for the players? Uh, for the offensive lineman, uh, did you see anything from the Pitt State defense that surprised you guys that you weren't expecting? No, not anything that we weren't expecting. Uh, we had a pretty good game plan going in the game. Um, everything that we prepared for, we saw out there. We just got to execute better. Were you here? Was the game plan the same as last year? Were you here last year? Uh, the game plan was a little bit different than last year. We wanted to establish that line of scrimmage a little bit more, be more physical to start out the game. Um, I was here last year. I feel like we, we started out the game more physical. We, we did things better in the first half. We just got to, the second half, we got to get things done. Well, I mean, it's just a, it's you know high quality, high character kids. A 3.3 team GPA is something that, that I'm very proud of, and fun group to be around. They work their tails off, and a talented group. You know, when I told our team, I said, you know, you, you lose, you know, we lost that game. You know, the, the second last game we played McKendry. You know, you, you get a home game, and it's a little bit, you know, you got a chance. You got, you got a better chance. You know, Fort Hayes came into our place in 18. We beat them by 10. They're the, they're in my in my AA champs. I mean, but. You know, when you got to come here, you know, 563 miles and you drive a bus and you leave on Thursday and then you come in here and, and there's no, uh, you know, there's no hotels that can, can feed you. It's, it's a, this is a difficult trip and to do it two years in a row. Uh, you know, I thought our kids responded very well and, and uh, we kept saying no excuses. You know, we got, it's all about playing football. And, you know, like I said, I thought we did the first half. We came out and I was very proud of our football team. Second half, we ran out of gas and, and uh, let it get away from us. I, I love the tempo. I love their effort. I mean, I, th I thought they were, you know, they, they, we had we were playing a little chip on our shoulder, had some physicality to us. You know, they, you know, they tricked us a couple times with some big plays, but uh, you know, they were they were struggling running the ball and, and protecting the quarterback. We were we, we were getting some shots on him. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I was I was very proud of the defense. I just uh, you know we just you know at the end we didn't uh, we didn't finish well. For the defensive backs, uh, 
back. How, how good was the uh, yeah, it was definitely a big lift because that's something we uh, pride ourselves in this year. Our red zone defense has been really good. So, like, just giving that big stop just gives us a lot of momentum and giving us that confidence that we need to be like, okay, we come out here and win this game. Did the pass game do anything you weren't expecting? Um, no, nah, they did everything we practiced uh, at practice. Um, the only thing I'll say for, for myself is, like, well, you know, when you're there, you got to make that play, and they just made those plays. And, you know, we get a couple of those PBUs or a couple of interceptions, we're talking a whole different game. It seemed like uh... – you guys did get worn down in the second half. Does Pitt seem to have more time in possession? Yeah, we were, we were, you know, we're having stop, trouble stopping them on third down, and you know, and then, and then we weren't, we are offensively we weren't keeping the ball for a long time, and you know, you start playing a large number of plays, and you know, it's hard to keep that, you know. We were running, rolling guys in, you know, our D line. We roll them in, but we're just trying to keep that momentum and trying to keep the uh, tempo of it. And, and it, you just, you know, when you're playing a big physical team, you, you know, you, you need. The offense to run to, to play and, and keep the ball some, so you're not keep going out there so many times. And I'm not, I'm not blaming our offense. We this was you know we got beat all three phases. There's no question about it. So I'm not trying to do that. But but it's uh, uh, we just uh, we wore down. You know, facing a tight end like Devin, who's mm -hmm. obviously a deep field threat. What was kind of your guys' game plan? Kind of control him and kind of contain him. Um, you know, our game plan was going to be the same every week. Um, we, we trust the guys we have in the secondary. You know, we got a we got a great safety, two great safeties, a great corner, me and my and my other uh, corner, Jalen. Uh, we kind of just just did our thing out there. You know, he makes some plays, we make some plays, and we just battle. You know, we got we got long kids in, in the back end. We thought we'd be, you know, we don't we, we don't have a lot of short kids in that back end. So we thought we could, but he kid played well. Well, him and you know, fourteen played well. They, you know, eighty eight and fourteen, those guys caught the ball and did a nice job. They they were. Uh, uh, <laughs> they, you know, they played. They did a nice job. Any further questions? <laughs>